Well, it's that time again, guys. It's football time. Especially for you uh, Buffalo Bills fans out there. And now it's a uh, rebuilding year for the tenth year in a row, seems like. Um, I, I guess that's a familiar phrase for us Bills fans is it's a rebuilding year. Uh, we fired all of our coaches, except for two. We rehired Chan Gailey, offensive-minded coach, which we haven't had in a long time in Buffalo. So, you know, I figure they're just trying something different. Uh, kind of like a... Uh, when I first heard the news, I was kind of upset, I think, just like all Bills fans. Uh, we all wanted a popular, popular coach. Um, but, you know, Buffalo doesn't have the money. And that's just the way it is, I think. Um, we're right there in the middle of the average cap salary in the NFL, so I don't think it has anything to do with money in general, but I just think that sometimes you know, coaches that are popular don't always win. I mean, they're popular, I mean, but they don't always win. You know, I don't see Mike Shanahan and the Redskins being more than 500 this year. And everyone's going to look at like, oh, whoa, well, we'll see. But uh, back to Buffalo. Last year... We got this ball, all us fans down here in Florida. We wrote all the winning scores on the ball. Well, as you can see, we don't have that many. So, we're done with that ball for this year. So we figure we get the 2010-2011 Bills ball. We're going with the black one this year. Hopefully we can be 9-7, 10-6. I'm not trying to be something outrageous. I think uh, C.J. Spiller can get it done, but I mean, I don't know. We'll have to know. Uh, he looked good. Lots of flashes of talent, but right now Marshawn Lynch will probably be back in the first week against Miami with him. So it looks like we'll have C.J. Spiller, Marshawn Lynch. It looks like Freddie Jackson might come back for the New England game maybe even further, it looks like. Um, as for the touches go, I think Marshawn Lynch will still get more of the handoff touches, I think. I think C.J. Spiller will be passed to more in the flats and, you know, lining up in the slots. Um, I think the offense have definitely got to put Roscoe Parrish in the slot a lot. They've got to put him in motion. they got to get the they got to get him in free, free range just to run. And Trent Edwards has got to be accurate. And the only way he can be accurate is if his five men are going to protect him. I mean, let's just get it straight. It all starts at the offensive line. It all starts at the defensive line. It all starts in the in the trenches. If if Andrew Levitri and Eric Wood and Hand Gardner and our tackles, whoever they may be, it looks like Cornell Green and Demetrius Bell. I mean, Demetrius Bell has only taken an average of 20 snaps a game. So I'm kind of curious how he's going to do week one against the Dolphins' pass rush. That's going to be like 50 snaps a game. So I don't know if we're babying him a little bit too much. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So I, I'm curious to see how our tackle positions work. I think if we run in between the guards and pull the guards a lot, I think uh, the Bills will do a lot better with that. I think um, we have to be very surprising, uh, like motioning this way and running the play this way and, and motioning this way and passing the ball, play action bootlegs. I mean, Trent's got to get moving a little bit, and I understand Trent's a pocket passer, but he doesn't seem to have good pocket awareness. Uh, the pocket seems to break down on Trent too fast. And obviously, any good quarterback, you give him three seconds, he's going to pick you apart. Um, but, I mean, he's got to be able to get his three-step, five-step drops before he can even make his reads or he can't even make a decision. I mean, honestly, I mean, Trent looked terrible last year at the end of the year when he got knocked out and so forth and so on. But at the beginning when he was 5-0 and or 4-0, and um, the offensive line was looking decent, making a couple of good throws. But onto the defense, I think the defense, uh, the switching from the 3-4, I think gap control is going to be very important. I think, um, I think our linebackers are going to fly to the ball. I think you, you can almost guarantee it that if we just fast forward one year from now, we'll be drafting more linebackers next year because I just, I just think that the linebacking core we have is good, but, I mean, how good? we got Andre Davis, Kawaki Mitchell, Paul Boslesny. I mean... I mean, now we got Chris Kelsey and Aaron Maven trying to fill in on the on the outsides and strong side. I mean, and you know, I I don't know. Uh, Marcus Stroud looks good as good as ever. Um, losing a lot of weight. Looks like he's going to be on the outside this year. So hopefully, uh, 
Kyle Williams and him can work together pretty well, and then Edwards, and then, and hopefully our second strings can uh, pull pull some because we do have a good secondary with uh, Leotis McAlvin and Drayton Florence, and of course Terrence McGee, and then we got like Reggie Corner and Ashton Yabodi fighting for it for the Nick for the uh, fourth DB slot, and our safeties, man, Dante Whitner, Jarius Bird, they got to get it done. George Wilson, they got to get it done this year. We got to be ball hawking defense. I mean, our offense is not going to be marching down the field all the time, so our defense has got to be shutting it down. I mean, I just I think that's the way it's going to be. And I'm um, looking forward to week one against the Dolphins. I will do one more video the week of the Dolphins game, and hopefully we can get some winning scores on this ball this year. But uh, anyway, this is uh, Panama City, Florida, Bills fan signing out. See you guys later.